Hi Poopsies, it's me Tony Pomponi, ASMR. Welcome back to your session. So before this begins, be sure to subscribe, tap the notification icon, hit all of the notifications to be notified of new content from me every single week, and check my website as well. TonyBumBunny.com, where you may be able to book your own, for example, coffee cup readings. I also do Reiki, Tarot, and ASMR, and candle wax readings. Okay. And you can use those coupon codes shown here to benefit you. Okay. Let's begin. So I have not one, not two, not three but for pick a cups we're gonna start with cup one which is the moss agate crystal cup two the azurite crystal cup three the garnet crystal cup four the peridot crystal. Cup one. Cup two. Cup three. Cup four. I'll give you a moment to choose and decide. You can choose multiple or all of them if it draws you in. Now let's begin, poopsies. a strange yellow color. There's a wide opening here. Like a small mouth, but a large body and a head. Maybe someone's not talking to you enough, but this is odd. The color of the coffee is actually orange and yellow. I don't think I've ever seen this. This reminds me of like Saharan dust sunsets that Florida gets sometimes. It's very unusual. I see someone being pushed here. transition and a change. Things are shifting, but it feels like you're shifting backwards, like kind of clockwise. But don't worry, I will read your cup by just reading the plate first. Yeah, I don't think things feel like they're maybe progressing your way or shifting to your advantage right now. Perhaps. It feels maybe slow, stagnant. I see an armadillo here, so but a very long one. It's like a hunting for something. Um, you're seeking answers out there in the universe. And the more I spin the plate, the more this coffee grinds backwards. So it's like the more effort you try to put into something, the less and less and less it works for you. And the more I spin the plate, now the more dull that opening gets and it's almost non-existent. This almost looks like a Martian atmosphere. Maybe you're like thinking of escaping your problems. Going somewhere else to keep your mind off your worries and wonders. All right, so let's see what your coffee cup says now. Mm -hmm. Like, um, 
there's something you experienced when you were younger that you're now going through again. It's coming up to the surface. Uh, the awareness is being elevated and raised again, okay? It's like you're gonna have to go through it again or something to that effect. There's a lady that's just like, it looks like she's in a pool, but she's not wearing anything, so maybe you're going to uh, accidentally stumble upon someone. Just keep that in mind. Um, respect people's privacy, okay? Maybe you didn't mean to, but it just... I guess sometimes it's trying to say we're meant to go through these awkward, <laughs> uncomfortable situations. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate a lot of spicy food, so my throat is a little funny. I may have to get some water. All right, so. It's mostly looks like uh, galaxies and nebulas. I think a lot of your mind space is out there. I see like hillsides, mountains, valleys. I think you're really wanting to escape a couple on. You're really wanting to just enjoy the pleasures of life. Let them take you away. Mm -hmm. This almost looks like a seesaw, like maybe you're working on some construction projects, working with wood, um, drilling or digging, or some, some homework, remodeling or construction. Could be renovation as well, okay. Try not to work at night. Mm -hmm. I think you're working on a new project, like a new book or a new idea. Could be artwork. Maybe you're painting or drawing galaxies and such. That's sort of uh, pulling me in as well. Mm. It's like you're just showing yourself. Maybe you're dancing or you're a dancer. Maybe you um, witnessed someone like a, an exotic dance or something. And you were a part of that, like a fun show or a play could also be. Um, maybe belly dancing ladies, okay. Maybe you went to get some like Indian food and you just went to see some dancers. Um, someone maybe celebrated like a birthday, perhaps like Pisces, perhaps. Um, a lot of like, oh, that could be spring break, that makes sense. Like people gathering together and just having fun. And I think it's saying like, feel free, it's been long enough, it's been a whole year. Like now is the time to celebrate, regardless of other sources may say. You deserve it. You deserve time off. I feel like you have abundance and not just money. That's It really means fulfillment within, happiness and peace and prosperity within. Some people around you, okay, so it's like you, you just feel good right now. You feel like vibrancy. You feel positivity, okay. You're in a very good place. Your brain looks healthy. You're in a very positively aligned state of mind. Some of you are growing your facial hair, maybe not shaving as much, and it's okay, just let loose. Um, I think you're having fun with your body, like not literally in the literal sense, but like you just, you don't care. Like maybe you used to feel insecure and self-conscious to take your shirt off at the beach or the pool 
and same with um, um, men and women. And now you're you're it's like voluptuous, but like um, people I admire that more now. Nobody really cares. I think before people were maybe not caring either, but now people really don't care how they appear, I think. Not everyone looks like a, a movie star. That's not accurate, okay? That's um, forced and fake, and so don't, don't uh, have a false sense of beauty standards which you see online. Some of you digging your fingers into some projects. Some of you are knitting like wool, maybe preparing or thinking about the winter time again, even though it's just passing now. Winter is here in three days, but by the time you see this, it will be, uh, I mean, sorry, spring is here in three days. <laughs> uh, I'm going back in time. Yeah, this kind of reminded me like going back in time when I spun the plate and it started yeah, it kind of feels like that. Like now you think maybe winter is here, but it's actually spring. Maybe you think it's already been spring and now winter is next. It's like, oh, uh, no, we don't live in opposite world, you know. It doesn't work that way. It's fall, then winter, not spring, then winter. But I feel like it's going to be like resembling that. Maybe it's going to still be colder than you expect. I think that's why I'm seeing that. That makes sense now. I see like a smoke, like a hookah smoke. Honestly, just enjoy, like, a, someone smoking a cigar. Just enjoy light at one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you only live this one life in this one specific body. I think you're feeling liberated and free right now. You're feeling maybe matured and developed in yourself. And you're feeling like you can just be who you are and do what you want and go with some new people. Maybe you've recently been single again and, uh, or if you're taken, you met more people through your partner, right? And you're just kind of like having fun. Like maybe you and your partner are saying like, let's let's have fun with someone tonight, right? <laughs> like you're trying something new and maybe you have like a... Just like a, you realize how short life is and that like maybe your whole year has been wasted. Oh, that could have been the same. seeing, yes, like a gathering. Um, yeah, so. Nothing wrong with it. Have, have fun. All of a sudden the coffee grains fell like powdered. That never happened before. So it's like you may have some expectations that fall or you didn't expect to fail. So be wary of that, okay? Okay, I'm seeing it happen again. So yes. Don't stand on crumbling ground. Make sure it's a sturdy foundation, okay? Like, don't just uh, go buy a house because it looks nice and then you didn't get it properly evaluated. And it has some problems that you have to take care of that are very expensive, so be wary of that couple of one, okay? Thank you for picking. Thank you. 
was um, <laughs> definitely the uh, foamiest. This looks like a dog's snout and a moon. It's like a dog looking up at the night stars, like, oh, it could be a wolf. Pretty. And there's others joining, maybe like a camping trip. It looks. Look how abundant this cup is <laughs> compared to the last one in terms of coffee. That's because this is the first one I poured into. It's like the first um, of the foam. But this I'm nervous about because it keeps. All right, so that took care of that. That took care of things for me. Let's see. Quite adventurous. I mean, I, I did pick quite an adventurous stone for this one as well. That's no coincidence here. Um, I do feel like there um, maybe even is a lot of like uh, around you, perhaps a lot to deal with. I'm seeing you intermingling with someone here. Also at the same time, looks like you're riding a horse. I'm suddenly feeling wrist pain. Maybe you have wrist pain or look at my left wrist. I'm just suddenly feeling pain here. Carpal tunnel, arthritis issues, perhaps. I think you're given a lot of tasks recreational and both like multitasking you're just given plenty to do right now mm. someone like sticking their tongue out maybe they're jealous or kind of looks like they're speaking a lot of bad words as well so be wary of this person don't go near them too long when you're around people and energies like that for too long, it's like it really starts to take a toll and phase you. They can make a phase you, you know. So I wouldn't uh, hang around that for too long, if you know what I mean, right? Kind of grumpy vibe. There's like two slits here, it looks like opening of eyes, you see? It's like a very dreamy appealing. They're looking at you from, it's like afar but up close at the same time. They really want to get to know you. They're very curious. Oh, it does look like a dog eyes though. Like I'm thinking of that dog again. I think animals are very attracted to you perhaps. This is quite the foamiest, like milk foam coffee I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever had this perfectly dense. I mean, look at how miraculously dense it is. It almost looks like hypnotizing and frightening. It, it's very um, appealing because there was a lot of coffee in such a small cup and it got like f like what did you say like fermented this way There's someone you're lifting a heavy boulder you have maybe a lot of like I said weight on you burdens heaviness um it's just a lot of tasks to deal with but you're such a light energy that you, it doesn't even feel heavy like I'm not really feeling heavy it just feels like an easy job Oh my gosh, there's two people here that look like Beavis and Butthead. I'm not kidding, with chef's hats. No joke. Oh, they look like like those Catholic, Catholic cats, like those cardinal Catholics. Oh my gosh. Like maybe like Jehovah Witness will come to your door or something. But they really look like Beavis and Butthead. Oh my gosh. So funny. 
could be with a lady, like three people come to you and like pray with you or sing to you or something. Oh my god. Careful of taking in too much like sunlight. Maybe sit under a shade and a breeze instead and cool down with like lemonade or something. You're gonna hug a long time friend. Probably haven't seen them in a while. Someone here transforming and evolving and there's like angels above you as you're transforming into this majestic being. Transform, don't I don't think anyone will stop you, but I think you need to transform. The angels are guiding you, telling you to transform. Someone here is probably in poverty and needs your help. Give, donate, leave a tip. If someone is asking you or is in need and dire urgency or needs just help in general, assistance in some way. Maybe. It seems like carrying something also, like a lot of box moving and carrying maybe some of your, I don't know about relocation, but it's, I do see someone lifting up boulders earlier, so it's like maybe carrying the burdens and weights of others, but also could be physical movement as well. Okay, cup two. There's like a mountain separating or reflecting in the water, so what you do comes back to you. Remember that. There's a, um, someone in mourning here, crying and crying. Maybe, oh, it looks like the dog again. Maybe their owner passed and you're going to be the new owner or something like that. Oh my god. Maybe you're going to visit a pound. Um, there's a lady here cooking up something, but I think she's doing it out of revenge. I wouldn't collect just any gift from anyone. Okay. You should be the one that gives, but I don't think you should receive from this specific woman. Seems like in her 30s, 40s. Immature woman. I go, here's a present. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> And then you just throw it away. I don't think you know her very well, so I, I wouldn't trust what she gives you. I think she does magic. Um, there's like a ghost hugging you. <laughs> a lot of like spirit guide energy here. A lot of spirits. Oh my. Spirits, spirits, spirits. Spirits, spirits, spirits. Something collecting wood with fire, like making a fireplace or like designing something here with wood and fire. Interesting. Maybe you're like an earth sign or fire sign. Maybe rising moon, sun combination. There's a big heart at the bottom, so your intention is behind your heart. I would act with the heart in everything and anything that you do. That's the best way you can live your life, is living with the heart. Okay, I think that's everything. Like a donkey with big ears. I think really just a lot of, um, could be your animal guide as well, a donkey <laughs> and a dog. There's an offering of a flower, perhaps, given your way. Someone showing interest to significant other. It's going to be a huge part of your life in the coming days. Thank you very much, Cup 2. That was your reading. Let's move on to Cup 3.
a garnet stone. Have you paid to cup three? Needing to work hard at something. Needing to collect something. Preserve and collect. Maybe you need to store cans of food. Maybe the weather is changing where you are. Yeah, a lot of like rain or downpour. Maybe you've been through flood lately. Could even be a tornado. Looks like a spiral. I think it caused a lot of damage and devastation where you are, some of you. I immediately get in my head Central America. I don't know why. Maybe you plan to go or you live somewhere that's similar in a climate. I think you're just trying to pick up the pieces and move on. There, there is some heaviness. I saw in your plate, there's like some more darker heaviness here, okay. Four, so there's four things you need to do. It's four tasks you need to fulfill. Mm. Immediately I got the word Amalfi. In my head, I don't know why. Amalfi. I think you have some confusion. I think this is a very um, threatening and confusing time for you, specifically. There's worms here. Make sure your gut and your bacteria and your intestinal region is healthy. You're eating a lot of yogurts. And uh, also make sure your home is infestation free. Of critters, snakes, etc. So you, it's about you, the, your insides and your house's inside. Okay, your home's internal workings, the plumbing. The electricity, that's also like the wiring, the, the, uh, the, uh, the systems of the home, okay? The pipes, right? It's like the pipes of the home are its intestines. Your intestines are like the home's pipes, like similar here kind of meanings. Maybe you're going to mask and show yourself like you're better off or doing well than others think of you, like, think people will pick up on the energy, they're not fooled easily by you, and so there's no need to portray something you're not feeling, be yourself, and it's important to, if you're going through pain, just talk it out and cry it out with someone, um, okay? Or just sit and cry to yourself. Honestly, I think you just need to sit, be by yourself. I'm feeling a very um, self energy here. It's like writings on the wall. Something writing on the wall. Something will catch your eye, maybe on the window or on a wall, and you'll come with a premonition of some form. Someone typing rapidly on a computer on a screen, maybe iPad or tablet, touch screen. Some messages back and forth to someone. Be careful not to be vengeful or gossip as well. If someone did something or, to you or maybe won't help you, it feels like you're in some lack or need right now. You don't know where to find or receive help in some way. There's some damages here done. Could involve a court case, okay? Um, like a jury and a judge. Let's see here. Just a car and then it transforms into a tortoise. 
Don't rush a car decision. Move slowly like a tortoise. What? If you will. Mm -hmm. I think one night when you see many stars in the sky, you'll come up with an idea. You're looking for satisfaction, but that won't necessarily help you. Like temporary satisfactions don't solve our problems ever. So maybe take care, tackle the problem first, and then enjoy life later. Um, it's like you're innocent, but you're not. Like there was some involvement on your part too. Maybe some faults um, or mistakes you made. And, uh, that not only they are to blame, but you too. But that's good news because at least we're responsible for our own lives, you know? It's like, if it's just their blame, that sucks because it's like, there's nothing we could have prevented. But if it's your blame, it's good news because it's something you can prevent so it doesn't happen again in the future. There's light at the end of the tunnel here, glowing like I see it here. It's just really glowing. You're going to feel these positive, good energies. I think you need a protection spell around you. Protection, healing. You just call upon your angels and guides and pray. That's all you need to do, really. Um, I'm not seeing much else here. I think the path will lead you along the way eventually. It's a very long pen here. So a lot of uh, work ahead, but it will get you very far if you're willing to be passionate and persistent and dedicated to commit to do this, okay? Um, although you may be a bit more emotional than usual, it's just um, a planetary thing, nothing that can be helped, saved, or prevented. It's just something you need to go through, I think. Maybe bottled up feeling you have been holding in and it's just coming out. Some of you may even have like allergies or illness just a few couple days until you clear out those toxic energies of the past. But I think you're going to realize with time working alone is the best. You work best alone. You don't need anyone to help you. Some of you may gain some weight. Be careful at consuming sweets and ice creams. Too much, okay? It's bloating. And could cut off circulation of your bloodstreams, okay? Be careful of your circulatory system. Make sure you get movement and exercise. Eat right and just plenty of rest. So you can heal emotionally, physically, okay? That's what I'm seeing for Pick a Cup 3. Thank you. Digestion, okay. Interesting. Be wary and mindful of when you consume because some of it will just run through you like water and you won't be able to absorb nutrients. So eat um, sturdy foods. I think more fibers you need to eat. Rice and pastas and grains and wheats. And if it's the time now to juice and cleanse and detox and now is not the time chia seeds may be okay fibrous seeds okay but nothing like too liquid too much water too much soda too much juices teas tea, too much tea is horrible because you can also create like clots or, or issues with your systems, okay? So um, keep that in mind. Pick a cup for. Let's finish this last one off. You're kind of creating your own world right now, your own space. There's like an inner flame here coming up. 
Um, it's like quite an empty cup, empty read. There's still some markings, but overall it's like, um, it's sort of good news you're not going through this much because it's, how do I say this? You get to work on what you want to do and just be by yourself and have this inviting, it's like a time to invite yourself to give yourself permission to listen, I see an ear here to give others permission to listen to listen and tune in to um, what you're doing, what you're saying some of you be careful with pimples as well touching them too much picking them at them too much but yeah your stool your stool doesn't look very good it looks very liquidy and runny so again be careful consuming too much um liquid too little fiber and that gives you digestion issues it'll just run through you um you do need like i do see like chia seeds okay <laughs> like just um Gosh, not just chia. What's the name? Ugh, there's a name. It's like a fibery seed. Fiber, like just fiber powder or just like try with like um, just nuts, grains, macadamia nuts. I wish I could remember the name. Flex seed. Yes, flex seed. Thank you, flex seed. That could help you, okay? Your hair and nails and skin need... Well, saving right now. I had to see like bump acne on the skin, okay? Some of you. Or just like in other parts of your body, like it can start to actually act up and inflame. Okay. Um, could be something to do with your astrology because during certain planetary shifts, certain zodiac signs tend to go through more inflammation and joint pain and like things like that. Like something really inside of you with your... Um, maybe even nervous system, like jitteriness, it, it, less circulation, more nervous based, but that nervous system issue is causing the digestion to go corrupt and then other problems as well, like acne and, and stool issues, okay? So it's linked and incorporated together because of your diet and um, that's pretty much it. I don't think it has anything to do with the way you're thinking you're just kind of living right now and just doing your own thing and I see like a flame this reminds me of the millennium flame oh my gosh that's in Chicago it like looks exactly like it oh my gosh um, it's like you're really just starting a new path here in your journey and rocketeering off into uh, a great experience for yourself a great positive outlook and attitude good things coming to you now good things flowing to you now um, it almost feels like the start of a new millennium again really it's just um we've only had two as i say <laughs> two other i mean one other uh yeah, oh my gosh, we, besides this millennium, like in the year 2000, I immediately get a vibe of that. We've only had one other time in history, post-Jesus. <laughs> wow. So what times we live in, right? How rare is that? You know, there's like 15 to 20 lifetimes in a millennium, right? So that's quite, quite incredible, actually, if I'm honest with you. Um... That's equivalent is trying to tell me it's like the changes. Okay. And it's good you don't have much to distract you now too, so you can like pinpoint them, see like a pinpoint here. Focus on your life, yourself, your dreams, your goals. You feel like there's not much here that earth is offering you and providing you now, so you just really want to tune in and focus on that as well. So like what you wanna do. Be careful sitting too long and seeing like feet and legs swelling, okay? Too much and even the glutes, you can get sore glutes. Maybe you need to massage yourself with a little lotion or oil or something. 
do that every night to treat yourself like a ritual, okay? Uh, but yes, I am seeing uh, issues on the porcelain throne in the restroom. <laughs> so, um, clean up after yourself as well, please. After every use, I feel like you maybe caught a bug and you just, that could also be an issue for some, just for some, but mostly digestion. Lots and lots of fiber. Breads, don't overdo it. Uh, tortillas, uh, you know, um, uh, toast, buns, like, sturdy grunting foods, okay. Chips, maybe. But a wholesome diet, like don't just overindulge in snacks all day or light meals. Now is not the time for you to eat light. You have to eat sturdy. I'm thinking like beef patties and stuff like that. You know, like really grounding, sturdy meals. If you're not eating meat, okay, you get the point. Rice and quinoa. What, what can I say? I mean, <laughs> not fish. I think you're really tuning into what you're consuming. Your sleep patterns are going to be maybe disrupted because of this. Maybe you wake up with stomach pain, so be careful again. Uh, maybe too much coffee. Yes, I see a ground of coffee. Wow, that happened again. That's interesting. That happened to one other cup. I barely, rarely see coffee grains falling, but this actually fell. And it's like, uh, again, like you're going to go to your pinpointed place of of where you want to be, okay? Healing and happiness. You're going to find someone that you just connect with, perhaps during this time. Someone you already know in your life, but you don't, would not realize the connection you have until now. I feel like nowadays we're missing connection more than ever, so it's important to connect once in a while, you know. We don't have to be off on our own always. Um, yeah, you might be a little bit of a night owl, actually. I feel like you're going to grow wise um, in this time now and just really like have a cosmic consciousness and awareness in your surroundings and what you do and how you live and how you vibrate, how you act, how you behave with others and your connection with them and others as well, their influence on you and your patterns and behaviors. And they will complement you and your chart as well, your zodiac. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Thank you guys for watching. Again, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, hit all notifications, and check my website, tonybomoney.com, to book your own services for me and those coupon codes as well. Alright, you guys take care now. See you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.